Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on linear equations and linear functions, specifically cost, revenue, and profit. Okay, the weekly cost function for fixing a bike is c of x equals 15x plus 600. Okay, so what's happening here is the 600 is what it costs to run the shop, you know, rent, utilities, whatever. This is what they have to pay no matter what. And the 15x is what they're actual average cost per bike is. So determine the cost for fixing 30 bikes. Well, C of 30, this isn't multiplication. This is function notation. This is input. It's in the parentheses, it's the input. So the cost for 30 bikes is 15 times 30 plus 600, which is going to be dollar sign because we label all of our answers 1,000. $50. Um, again, not multiplication. It's output is cost, input, X is being replaced with 30. Okay. One week, the total cost for fixing bikes was 1,275. How many bikes were fixed? So 15X plus 600 was 1,275. We subtract the 600 from both sides. 15X is 675. Is 675 divide both sides by 15 and x will be 45 bucks okay it's a long problem just fyi a lot of things going on find the unit cost and fixed cost so this is going back to how i de defined our original problem the unit cost is 15 dollars per bike the fixed cost is $600 per week. Okay, so the bike store charges $55 to fix a bike. So the revenue function, or find the revenue function. So. The costs were the money out. That's what we just figured out. This is the money in. What's the revenue for fixing a bike? Well, the revenue is 55X. That's how much money they make for fixing a bike. If the bike shop fixed 30 bikes, how much revenue did they make? Well, the revenue for 30 bikes, again, not multiplication, function notation, is 55 times 30 and 55 times 30 is $1,650. Okay. One week, the bike shop made a revenue of $1,375. How many bikes did they fix? So 55X equals 1,375. Divide both sides by 55. And X is equal to 25 bikes. Okay. But wait, there's more. Okay. The weekly, oops, sorry about that. The weekly expense of fixing X bikes at the shop, again, is C of X equals 15X plus 600, and the revenue is R of X is 55X. So this is what we've been working on. It says write the profit function. So profit, now just remember, at the end of the day, we want to make money. Cost is the money out. Revenue is the money in. At the end of the day, we want more money in than money out. If there's more money out than coming in, it's a bad business plan. We are going to go under. So when we're talking about profit, we want it to be the money in, revenue, minus the money out, cost. If it's the other way around, bad business plan. So the profit is going to be 55X minus, put this in parentheses, 15X plus 600. If you don't put it in parentheses, that 600 is not going to be subtracted out. Trust me, I've seen it over and over. That minus has to be distributed. Everything in cost has to work against profit. Costs are against your profit. So P of X, is 55x minus 15x minus 600. So the profit is 40x 
minus 600. That's how we figure out our profit. So let's find the profit of fixing 30 bikes. So the profit of 30 bikes, again, not multiplication, it's just the input of our profit function. 40 times 30 minus 600 is going to be dun -dun -dun, $600. Now, we could have figured it out from the problems we had above. We figured out already that the revenue of 30 bikes, if we look above, was $1,650 and the cost of 30 bikes being fixed was $1,050. And if we just subtracted those, we would have gotten $600. But if we had to figure out a ton of different profits, figuring out the profit function would be faster and easier. So now we see how everything works together. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.